This is the problem about the revenue. A manufacturer determines that the revenue generated by selling X units of a product is a linear function of X. If the revenue from 20 units is $380 and the revenue from 50 units is $285 by the revenue function. From the key point here, we are going to find the revenue function, which is the function R of X. And the function is linear as this part of the information. That means Rx will be in the form of linear function, which is in the form of y equals mx plus b. So we write Rx as m times x plus b. To complete this function, we are going to find, let me call this here, phi m, which is the slope, and phi the b, which is the y-intercept. To find the slope, we call the formula for the slope from the college algebra or algebra class is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, we don't have the order pairs provided. So we have to look at the information and uh, put them together and to find the M or the slope. Since R is the function for X, so the order pair will be in the form of X comma the R. So we look for the order pairs from the in provided information. The first part here, 20 units is $380. So the order pair going to be 20 units, which is the X, 380, which is the revenue. The second order pair, 15 units, 285. With this way, we can put together to find the M, which is Y2 minus Y1. Um, so 285 minus 380, all divided by 15 minus 20. We get the numerator simplified to be in negative 95. The denominator is negative 5 simplified to be 19. We got the M value, M equals 19. The first part is checked. Next, we're going to find the y intercept. So, based on information, we have two order pairs. We just use one of these two order pairs to find the b value. So, let's put them together here. If we take this order pair, going to be 380 as the revenue equals the m is 19 multiplied by x, which is 20 plus b. And then we're going to solve for B. So 380 equals 19 times 20, that is 380 plus B. To solve for B, subtract both sides by 380. So we get 0 equals B. Therefore, the revenue function x will be in the form of m times x, which is 19 times x, 19 times x, and m plus b, which is 0. Or we just simplify it to be the rx, or the revenue, equals 19x. And we are done for this problem.